Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis' romance took the world by storm. From their very first date, Olivia was swept off her feet and head over heels in love. Every day more grateful and realizing how I've completely won the life lottery and it's just so clear to me at every stage of his growth and my own growth as a mother, so it just makes me realize how lucky I am. The couple seemed destined to be together forever. Sadly, that wasn't the case. After seven years together, the couple called it quits. Olivia moved on with Harry Styles just one month later, and Jason was left heartbroken. Stay tuned, juicers, because in today's video, we're going to take a look at Olivia and Jason's love story. From being overwhelmed with love to serving legal papers at a public event for the whole world to see. Okay. It's just me. It's just you. Yeah, yeah, it's us. So we get to sit and talk. Yeah. That's special. Jason Sudeikis and Olivia Wilde met back in 2011 on the set of Saturday Night Live. The actor admitted that sparks flew immediately between the pair. In an interview, Jason shared, I met her at a finale party for SNL. We hit it off that night. Wilde also opened up about their first meeting and confessed that it was his moves on the dance floor that caught her attention. I remember I was on the dance floor and everybody was dancing around me and they just seemed really happy and I was just kind of standing there. I met Jason and I thought he was so charming. He's a great dancer and I'm a sucker for great dancers. As it turned out, both Jason and Olivia were casually seeing other people. The actor admitted that he was still figuring out how to be himself and be comfortable in his own skin while his career was taking off in Hollywood. On the other hand, when they met, Olivia confessed that she thought that Jason really saw her and saw through all the bullshit. She shared, He came up to me and he said, Whatever you're looking for, you don't need it. And he walked away. Despite their obvious chemistry, Jason never asked for her number. So, Olivia decided to take things into her own hands. She explained that over the next six months, they kept running into each other. It felt like more than a coincidence, and she knew she needed to do something about it but she felt like he may not be interested in her the same way. Finally, it was her best friend that actually walked up to Jason and said, this is Olivia's number, use it. And that was that. Funnily enough, it still took one month for Jason to reach out to the actress. Oh gosh, there was about two years there where I didn't go on any dates. Olivia felt like she was on the hook, waiting for him to send her a message because she didn't have his number to do it herself. In fact, she was surprised by the fact that it took him so long to text her. She joked, I was like, you guys, did Jason Sudeikis die because I don't have any texts? However, according to Sudeikis, he actually had a good, harmless reason for not sending her a message so soon. He had heard through some people that Olivia might have been seeing someone, and on top of that, he was also incredibly busy with work. So he felt it best not to make a move. Jason added, and next thing you know, I stopped being busy, she stopped dating someone, and then it was off to the races. And did Jason use comedy to win you over when you guys first started dating? Yeah, funny guys are always, you know, the best, and I think it's, it, it works on all us girls. When it came time for their first date, Olivia admitted that she felt really nervous about it. She thought that he wasn't going to be interested in her, and he was too cool for her. The actress explained, He was so cool, so funny. I was such a fan of his, and had always fancied his speed and his intelligence. He's a brilliant actor with a brain like lightning. In fact, she even thought that Jason wasn't going to be attracted to her. She thought she wasn't beautiful enough for his type. When they did have their first date, Wilde said that they closed down the New York City restaurant at 2 a.m. At the end of the night, the comedian didn't try to kiss her, a gesture Wilde found to be gallant. She said that on their date, he was never overly flirtatious, adding that he had patience and sincerity and kindness, no presumptuousness. After that, she admitted she was so madly in love that it was overwhelming. She had never felt that way before about anyone. He had stolen her heart. As it turned out, Jason didn't even kiss her until their fourth date. But when they did finally lock lips, Olivia confessed that she was completely head over heels. Still, she said, she managed to maintain some mystery of her own, departing before things could go any further. I'm a lady, so I left. I was like, got the kiss, I gotta leave now. After that, the couple was practically inseparable. They were spotted out and about the town at sporting events, but never officially confirmed their romance to the public. After about a year of dating, Olivia revealed that she and Jason had decided to take the next step in their relationship. They moved in together, along with the actress's rescue dog in New York. We're chilling out, we'll be in New York, staying warm, trying not to slip on ice. Okay. Yeah. yeah trying to stay warm. Yeah. Trying to stay warm, doing our best, keeping each other warm. 
Yeah. yeah. It seemed as though Wilde couldn't stop gushing about her romance with Sudeikis. The actress opened up about her feelings for her boyfriend, saying that she was blissfully, hopelessly, wildly in love, adding, We hold hands. I never f hold hands. She also spoke out about their physical activity, comparing their bedroom antics to Kenyan marathon runners. At the beginning of 2013, Jason popped the big question to Olivia, and of course she said yes. I don't know anything yet, but the most important thing is that being engaged is a wonderful, beautiful feeling. The actor confessed that he had been carrying around the ring in his pocket for over a month, waiting for the right time to propose. The couple was incredibly excited about their future together and were very happy. Wilde opened up about her dreams for motherhood in an interview, sharing that she couldn't wait to have children, adding, I'm open-minded about how many, but three, which I love, is like a little party. She couldn't help but imagine Sudeikis as a dad. He's so good with kids. I've never before experienced looking at someone and thinking, that's who I want to raise a child with. Jason himself felt like Olivia had completely changed his life. He shared that his secret to having found happiness was being in love. The actor added, I feel like I returned home to myself as an individual through the process of falling in love with the sweetest woman I've ever known. By October of 2013, the couple announced that they were expecting their first child together. Just six months later, Jason and Olivia welcomed a bouncing baby boy into their lives. Wilde shared the good news on Twitter several days after his birth. Ladies and gentlemen, Otis Alexander Sudeikis has left the building. I'm the building. She wrote alongside a sweet black and white photo of her and the newborn. However, despite the birth of their little boy, Olivia confessed that she and Jason weren't quite ready to get married just yet. She explained that they didn't have any official plans yet, but were waiting for the right time to walk down the aisle. Still, the actress said she was in no rush. In many ways, a child is more of a commitment. We are fully committed and really happy as a family, adding that she didn't feel any pressure to get married. How long have you guys been engaged now? Because I was totally confused by this. Right. Yeah, yes. That's a great question. Thank you. I believe uh, since uh, 2012. Two years later, the pair were seemingly no closer to walking down the aisle, despite being as unified as ever. Olivia explained that having a child brought them closer than ever and they felt seriously connected. In October of 2016, the couple's family expanded once more with the arrival of their daughter, Daisy Josephine. Wild shared the first photo of the newborn a few days later with a sweet Instagram pic. Now here's my question for you. Which one of, uh, of our kids do you think is going to be the most trouble when they get older? Daisy. Daisy, I agree. Definitely Daisy. Daisy. After six years together and two children, Wild revealed that she was still crazy for her fiancé. The couple shared snaps of their family on Instagram, updating their fans on how things were going. It seemed that they couldn't have been happier or more in love. However, by the end of 2020, the couple made a shocking announcement when they shared that they had called off their engagement. After more than seven years together, Jason and Olivia were calling it quits. While it was reported that the split was amicable and the couple were working on a new co-parenting routine with their two kids, people couldn't understand why things didn't work out for them. They had both seemed so happy and often gushed about how much they loved each other to the public. So what could have happened that tore their family apart? The question remained unanswered, and the couple stayed silent as to the reason for their breakup. What was more surprising was that it seemed that it didn't take long for Olivia to move on from Jason. By the beginning of 2021, just a few months after the announcement of their split, Olivia was spotted holding hands with none other than Harry Styles. A source revealed that Harry and Olivia, who met on the set of the film Don't Worry Darling, was in the early stages of their romance. They have dated for a few weeks, the source added. They were affectionate around their friends, held hands, and looked very happy. At the time, Sudeikis was still absolutely heartbroken over his breakup with Wilde. He still loved her, and for a moment he had thought that they were going to be able to work things out and get back together. So when Olivia was spotted with Harry, he was devastated. The actor did his best to move on. About a month later, it was reported that Jason was spending time with British model Keely Hazel but he wasn't seeking anything serious. Both Olivia and Jason continued to avoid commenting about their split. However, Jason did share that he was still trying to wrap his head around why they weren't together anymore. He explained, I'll have a better understanding of why in a year, and an even better one in two, and an even greater one in five. Probably the most shocking turn of events was when Olivia was served with legal papers from Jason at a press event in CinemaCon. 
while she was on stage giving a presentation about her upcoming film Don't Worry Darling, which ironically stars Harry Styles, the actress was handed an envelope marked personal and confidential. She had no idea what it was and assumed it was perhaps a script relating to her work. However, when she opened it, she realized it was legal documents regarding her and Jason's children. After opening it, she acknowledged receipt of the papers with a simple, okay, thank you, before continuing to speak about her film, Don't Worry Darling. Naturally, Olivia was completely surprised and embarrassed by the delivery of the documents, but did her best to compose herself and continue with her presentation. As it turned out, Jason had no idea how and when the legal papers were going to be served to Olivia, so he had nothing to do with the very dramatic delivery. But that didn't mean it made it any less hurtful for the actress. We can't imagine how difficult it must be to manage a breakup in the public eye. While things didn't work out for Olivia and Jason, we can't help but wonder why their love didn't last. We may never find out. All we want is the best for both of them. And it does seem like Olivia and Harry are happy. We just hope that Jason will be able to find love again, and that they all get their own happily ever after. Be well and be kind.